Sylvie's story. Sylvie woke up early and stretched. She could tell it would be a hot day. She imagined the wind blowing across the Sahara Desert to her little village in Burkina Faso. She wanted to stay in the cool, dark house, but she needed to get going. Breakfast was ready. Sylvie's family sat down to eat before they went to work. Papa and Sylvie's older brother, Jean, had to go to the fields. Mama had to gather wood and tend to the fire. Grandmother had to watch the baby. Sylvie's younger brother, Felix, had to go to school. Sylvie wanted to go to school with Felix, but she had to go with her sisters instead. Sylvie had to fetch the family's water. Sylvie picked up her empty jug and followed her sisters up the path. The river was a three mile walk from the village. Sylvie trudged up the path. As the sun rose higher, Sylvie imagined sitting in the schoolroom beside Felix. Thinking about letters, words, numbers, and sums helped her pass the time. At the river, Sylvie filled her water jug. She lifted it up high and set it on her head. She began the slow walk home. The sun was low in the sky when Sylvie got back to the village. Felix ran out to meet her. He took the water jug from her. You can help me in the garden, said Felix. I'll tell you what I learned today. Sylvie followed Felix to the garden. She felt tired and sad. You should feel proud of your job, said Felix. You help all of us. We cannot live without water. We depend on the work you do, Sylvie. I know, said Sylvie. I do feel proud. I just wish I could go to school too. What if she could grow up to be a doctor or a teacher? Then she could help her family and a lot of other people too. Felix felt bad for Sylvie. He tried to cheer her up. Do you want to hear today's fun fact? Sylvie nodded. There are 20,000 drops of water in a liter, said Felix. And that is how many steps I must take with my little legs to get to the river and back, said Sylvie. That is one step for every drop. A few weeks later, Jean came home with news. He had been to the marketplace in a nearby village. The village had a well. A pipe comes up out of a deep hole in the ground, said Jean. The pipe is in the middle of the village. The families can get as much water as they need. Flora and Marie burst out laughing. You are joking, said Flora. Water out of a pipe. Don't tease. He's not teasing, said Felix. We learned about wells in school. There can be huge lakes and rivers right under our feet. Sylvie felt excited. Can our village get a well? She asked. That is the best part, said Jean. I spoke with Mr. Mike. He says our village has already been chosen for a water project. Work will begin very soon. Sylvie could hardly wait. Every night she prayed for the well building crew to come. And finally it happened. One day Sylvie and her sisters came home to find a crew with a big tall machine set up near the village. It was used to dig a deep, deep hole. All the families in the village gathered at the well site. Jean and Mr. Mike helped the crew set everything in place. Then they moved aside and asked Sylvie to step forward. Sylvie smiled. She wrapped her hand around the pump handle. She thought of all the steps she had taken to bring water to her family, drop by drop. Then she pumped the handle up and down. Clean, fresh water flowed out of the pipe. Everyone was so happy. But no one was happier than Sylvie, who finally got to go to school. <laughs>